Ah, shit. Morning, lads and lasses. Uh, fine spring morning in May, and I've got a uh, Teddy Equipment T43 oscilloscope on the bench in uh, various states of undress. Um, got no trace. Uh, that's it. It's in a bit of a mucky old state, but uh, potentially a um, decent oscilloscope because it's um, what do you call it, dual beam. So you know it hasn't got the usual chop out thing on it. Uh, got a few problems apart from the no trace. We also have broken resistors, bits of wires all over the bleeding shop. And the Y amplifiers, the vertical amplifiers aren't working properly. So I'm just trying to track down the uh, cause. So at the moment I'm working on the EHT section. And at the moment, this minus 1000 volts, which sort of feed the cathodes of the cathode ray tube, I haven't got a thousand volts. And I'm looking at the moment at this neon here, which should have 60 volts across it, but it's got 134 volts, so I suspect the neon is dead, so it's not striking. It should strike at about 30 volts, I think. I'm not too sure about neons, so they're a bit of a mystery to me. Uh, the other problem I had was, let me spin it around. The other problem I had was on the uh, EHT section. As you see, I've just got um, three, well, there's two 1N4007s and a BY something or other um, diodes just strapped across there because originally it had these selenium. It had these selenium things, a lot of people are familiar with them, the K850s. Uh, notorious for going a bit dodgy and smoking. And the other problem is that a lot of the really high voltage capacitors that form part of the du uh, voltage doubler circuit are a bit iffy too. I've got uh, various ones there to try out. At the moment I've, uh, I had nothing on there, I had about 400 volts, when it should be 3.2 kilovolts. Um, so I have got about 2 kilovolts there at the moment. It's almost like there's something pulling all the voltages down. I've checked the uh, cathode ray tube, heaters are working, and this was working a while back. Had a look at the brightness and the focus. I think it's focus and brightness, is it? I'll show you down here. Brightness, focus, yeah. Which are these two big pots there? They're okay. I've uh, swapped out some of the resistors, replaced those. Voltages around there are about right. But anyway, starting down the bottom there, trying to get this thousand volt here which is basically supplied by this 875 volts winding off the uh, transformer goes through four diodes and then we've got one two three caps there uh, they all check out okay well, I haven't tested them for leakage they test all right on ESR and they, I did reform them about a year or so ago. So anyway, I'm just going to have a look at this circuit here. And I'll best go and change the battery later. Okay, okay. We now have a trace. I've still got it on the uh, Variac. An isolation transformer. It's just dialed down a bit. There we go. You can see that. Two traces. Well, I say trace, they're just two dots. And as you see, we've got no vertical control. I'm just jiggling that a bit. 
I'm going to say that. Boom. And the other plug-in, I had the, um, what is it, type, oh these are Type-C. I had another Type-C plug-in and that had a blurry trace on the screen. So what I've done, i just replaced it for this Type, what is it, Type-G I think. Differential plug-in. Anyway, there's no control on that at all. And as you see, we've got no time base at all. Bugger all. I'll just turn that off. So, why was the EHT not right? Okay, these are what I replaced so far. These are what I had in. Uh, but first, I bought some supposedly Vichet. I think they were um, 2 kilovolt or something diodes. And just see if I can do this one ended. Right, so what I'm checking for, I'm checking for reverse, um, reverse leakage. And get the little bugger. Come on now, don't be coy. Right, that one is reading 7.5k reverse resistance. So obviously if that's in a high voltage circuit, I want to get electrons leaking the wrong way. This one's the same. Uh, uh, that's right. Although less so. Let it come up. No, not that one. Being silly now. Is it this one then? No, right. Well, that one. That's uh, calling me a liar. That one now. They're showing all right. So on, obviously that one was leaky. So what I had, luckily, was some of these. Uh, what are they now? Jesus, I can't see. PC something? GPC? GP something? Anyway, whatever, the 2 kilovolt uh, diodes, so I just sort of bodged a couple of those in there on each side. Um, when I do crank it up on Variac, I'm going to probably have to put a resistor in there to make sure that the EHT is right. Although, I have it here on about 140 volt, you know, it'd be about a bit more than that, about 180 volts AC, and I'm not getting anywhere near the 3.2 kilovolts, I'm getting about 2.8, mm, so may maybe it'll go up. And so as we have no time base, this time base that um, that I've got in here, I just tried swapping it around for uh, one a chap gave me. This is a TD42, the original time base is a TS41. Uh, the problem you got with, luckily, I mean I've got the proper manual, although you can get the uh, manuals online. Lots of amplifiers. There we are. Time base and horizontal amplifier. So what I've noticed is that the designations uh, say let's just say R165 isn't R165 on this board. So as per like some suggestions on forum from the uh, old threads on the D43 scope. I've been changing out these MR105, 107, 104, 106. Changed all those for 1N4, is it? Hold on, 1N1448 is it? Or 4148? I can never remember. So I've changed them. Uh, where are we? That's a Zener, that's okay. I've tested that on my Zener checker. Yeah, there we go. One there, one down there, 
one down there. Uh, so now I have the happy task of going through all the resistors and making sure they're about right. Uh, with a lot of valve circuits it doesn't really matter, you know, as long as it's ish. But obviously for something like a time base where timing and things like that nature is involved and they need to be a bit more than ish. So yeah, going through that and hopefully get the time base working. And then I have also the happy task of going through both all the um, plugins, vertical plugins, and do the same. Fun, fun, fun. Okie dokie. Right, I'll crack on and catch you later. <laughs>